Hello, I'm Freezing Inferno, and welcome back to Let's Play Act Razor 2. Now, before we go after our next sin, I want to make a little detour. We're just going to head south from Tortoise Island, head past this inconspicuous landmass, and we're going to go check out the town of Humbleton. Humbleton's a nice little place. It's all civilized. And what's the secret? We don't know, because they're atheists. So... We shrug, and we move on to another town. Leon, or perhaps Leon, I don't know. But, taxes! All sorts of taxes, and people go to jail in gratis. Gratis, which, which is funny, because that's French for free. You get it? It's, it's a prison! It, yeah! So that's why I think it's Leon. It's prisons like a maze. Oh. Oh boy. I sentence you to mode 7, Descent. Welcome, Master. Oh, that's nice. They made a welcome set. Wait a minute. Well, that's not very nice at all! They're just fucking with us at this point! Oh, this place. It's pretty much a maze, yeah. You gotta figure out the right, right way to go. And I know the right way to go, so I'm gonna take it. You might say, well, why don't you explore? I mean, it must be a good idea. No, because fuck this place! The two levels of greed are my least favorite part of the game. All that bitching I did about Almeida and Deathfield, I take it back! Oh my god! These two levels are the worst. Ugh. And you're starting to see why. These annoying little ghost enemies are just nasty as shit. And even if you know the right way to go here, it's still a mess. We're just gonna traverse along the slime infested sewers of the underground prison. I don't know how I didn't skid off into the slime there, but I'm goddamn happy for it because holy shit. Oh, never mind. Now I didn't. Oh, it didn't do that much damage, actually. A saving grace. And we're just gonna slowly ascend up this vertical shaft. And this is pretty much the end of the maze portion of Grotty. You think that that's the hard part done? No! Oh god, no. You, you poor baby. Alright, well, admittedly, once you get past this maze portion, it's not so bad. Well, technically, we're not done the maze portion, but I'm gonna do a thing here. And it's a thing I do because I hate this place so much. There's some spikes up there. Now, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do this, but you can just glide over them. Now we're at the mini boss. I wonder what unique mini boss it is. Oh look, it's the goat knight thing from, you know, Lavaus, the Ice Palace. The level you guys made me do after the opening levels because you wanted to see Lust so much. Fuck. Well, let's try that again, because I hate this boss. I, I don't even know if I expressed my disdain for this guy, but the hell with them! And don't think this ain't the last time they're gonna use them either, because by god they are. Enix loves the fuck out of this guy. It, it, it blows my mind how many fucking times he shows up! It's ridiculous. But he's dead. And I'm nearly dead. Now, I'm gonna admit, this second part here, after you kill the goat guy, it ain't so bad. But, still. So we've got deadly spikes, but they're not all that deadly, really. Just be smart about it, like, you see how they're going up and down, just, well, move when they're not in your way. That's it. It's a woefully short section, too, I mean, really. It's done. That's it. We're at the boss of Grotti. But... He's a fucker! This is the Goblin King! 
This grinning sack of magical shit, who has a portrait of himself riding a horse, is the worst. <laughs> oh, oh, he's the worst mini boss. Like, of the first stage, he's probably the worst. I don't know. The king in that field? Not that bad compared to this guy. He's got lots of crazy attacks, and he's got that stupid orb shield around him. Thinks he's the boss in Mega Man, but you can break that giant fuck-off beam he shoots out, and it'll damage him. That is, if he doesn't have his fuck-off shield on. But otherwise, he's just floating around, being a dick. But I even use my magic, because I know I'm gonna fucking die. And if I die and don't have any magic for this guy, I'm fucked! Same thing with the other bosses. I always just save my magic and sort of not quite throw the fight, but just try to do it without any magic. Because I know that I fucking die. I, I just got this feeling in my bones. Oh, I could have had him there, but no. No. I think I've gotten down fairly well, but bullshit like that happens. Alright, let's just fast forward until he's got no health left. <laughs> the game's pretty funny when he do this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of funny. Yeah, it doesn't change the fact that this guy's a giant dick, though. You fucker. Alright, no more speedy fun time. Let's actually try to kill this bastard with relatively full health. I wonder if I'll get him down before he drains all of it. Because he sure loves that stupid ass shield. I really thought that was going to break it and hurt him, but no. Even all those hits didn't break the fuck off shield enough to damage him, so now I gotta fight him with just the plain old sword. And this sucks because, again, he's such a dick. Die! Thank you. Ah, oh, that nearly killed me. That nearly gave me a game over, but gratis clear. Thank fuck for it, too. I mean, this is one of those levels where when I did it for, when I started the LP, I was like, how the fuck am I gonna do this? But the hell's not over yet. That was only a minor demon. Yeah, there's still a deadly sin left to take out. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. <laughs> no shit, of course he did. Well, let's just talk to these towns people. Everyone's free from jail, but they're still paying taxes. What? A dragon? Oh, King Arthur now? <laughs> well, I guess they gotta take out that dragon next time. <laughs>